right now for Comstock Fire Chief Ed Switalski. He was killed in the line of duty last week when a passing car hit him while he was responding to an accident on I-94. 24-Hour News 8's Brady Gillum is live at the visitation talking with those paying their respects. Brady. Well, before he moved to Southwest Michigan four years ago, Chief Swatowski was a firefighter in Illinois. Today, I met a group of firefighters from Illinois who drove up just for the visitation. Firefighters from throughout Southwest Michigan paid their respects at Chief Ed Swatowski's public visitation today. Our leader, you know, has died, so we're, we're working through it. But another group of firefighters knew Swatowski before he became Comstock's fire chief four years ago. We made the drive up here. He was a great guy, loved the fire service, and, um, you know, it's just tragic. Swatowski worked for the Pleasant View Fire Protection District in Illinois. Firefighters from the neighboring fire district worked with Swatowski and knew him for more than 30 years. He was the coordinator of the regional hazmat team there, so um, everybody here, Bill, John, they were all part of that hazmat team, and so a very close-knit group. Although separated by time and space, the Illinois firefighters sound like Southwest Michigan firefighters when they talk about Switalski. Ed was a great friend of me. Um, we, uh, as soon as he moved here, we became really good friends, and he's, I would say, one of my best friends here. Always had a smile on his face. You know, always had a always had a good laugh about him. Swatowski was a husband and father, but to this group of guys from Illinois, he's family too. We knew it was going to be a busy day here today, yeah. so we wanted to come in a little early and and uh, go through the line. And making a five-hour round-trip drive in one day is worth it for family, family members who share a common bond of serving the public in a dangerous profession. You know, one thing he told me during our whole discussion was to keep my head up, and that's what he kept saying. So that's that's been our theme. We've I've set, passed it on to everybody that we just got to keep our heads up and uh, move forward. If there's any consolation, do you know he passed doing what he loved to do? Now, it was really touching meeting those firefighters from Illinois today who drove here to pay their respects. Now, if you'd like to pay your respects, there's respect, there's still time. The Oshtemo, excuse me, the uh, Langland Funeral Home in Oshtemo is uh, having the visitation till 8 o'clock this evening. Reporting live in Oshtemo Township, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8. Okay, thank you, Brady. And you are invited to help line the procession route to Chief Switalski's funeral. It starts around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, traveling from Langland Funeral Home to Wings Event Center. About 400 firefighters will take part in the procession. And then his funeral will be at Wings Event Center following that procession. It should start around noon, and we'll broadcast that service live on WXSP and on woodtv.com.